opportunity today. We are going on a date. His company has rented out a theater, and so we are going to see the new Star Wars movie. Really fantastic. We haven't had a date in a long time, so this is a good chance for us to talk to you about our recent couple quarrel. I'm gonna try to get to the point on this, and then we'll talk about all the things behind it. Recently, I could not find a pair of headphones. They were fold-up headphones, so I had the case, but I, I didn't know exactly where the headphones were that went inside the case. Since we have downsized, we have basically one big room that a lot of the stuff is all like stacked in that's not organized. And most of our stuff is in that room. So if something is lost and I say, hey guys, keep an eye out for this lost item. If the response back to me is, oh, I think it's back in that room. I kind of want to slap somebody because yes, obviously almost everything is in that back room. So when I asked Aaron if he could please just keep an eye out for these headphones. I'm trying to organize the backspace. I had the case. I really didn't want the kids to get a hold of my headphones. So I said, Aaron, if you could just keep an eye out for the headphones, I would really appreciate it. So how did you respond when I asked you to, to keep your eyes open? Oh, I've seen it recently back in that, that room. Yes, he said to me, I've seen your headphones recently in that big room with all of our stuff just thrown about. I did not respond terribly well because I felt like that was so obvious to tell me it's in a big area and it made me really mad. It made me like really, really, really mad because Aaron is really smart. I don't know that you mean to do this and I don't know if this has happened with other people, but I feel like you're condescending. I feel like you're really smart. And so a lot of times the way you speak comes out like, well, you're stupid. So you will say things sometimes and you'll end it with, did you know that? Or you'll talk to me about something that is very common and you'll explain it to me as though I'm like a two year old child. And it kind of makes me feel like you see yourself as superior. I don't know. It just really, really, really rubs me the wrong way. So when I went back into this back room to find my headphones, I was able to find the headphones. I worked to find them. I knew that they were in that room right off the bat. <coughs> and I almost didn't want to come out of the room because I knew if Aaron saw me with the headphones, he would take credit. He would be like, see, I told you they were back there when obviously it's back there. Oh, it just made me crazy, it made me crazy. So when I came out of the back room, what did you say? Let me guess, they were in the back room. <laughs> That's what he said to me. He said, let me guess, they were in the back room. Like, oh Hold on. my gosh. Now, now before she goes on for oh. 17 minutes of, of explaining how bad I am at things, let me go ahead and give you my side of it. So some lady, happens to be my wife, asked me, you know, hey, look, if you've seen this, these, these uh, headphones, let me know. I didn't ask if you'd seen them recently. Okay? Keep an eye out for them, either yes, way. Yes, because I know that they're around. I know I'd seen them. It doesn't so... matter. Anyway, this is my, me talking. Okay. So, yes, I did, very recently, like the night before, in that room, in a certain part of the, uh, the, the room. Like, they were very obvious, they were in the area she was playing in recently, so the fact that she didn't trip oh, over no, them... Oh, no, organizing Hold stuff. on, hold on, I'm not done talking. Okay. No, but we had... Okay, we had a, yes, sir, you, can't, you can't do this to me. Okay. You can't, you can't jump me down so much that I'm not okay. able to talk. Okay, fine, keep going. They were not just in an area she was playing with, but she had to have stepped on them tripped over them or thrown them somewhere in order not to see them. That's how obvious they were. So I just mentioned where I saw them last. And she goes from, hey, help me, to... I was really upset. I was upset. Which, if you think about it from my point of view, is insane. Okay. Because I tried to help. I knew where they were last. And she literally brushed me off as if I stated something stupid. No, it's because you said you tried to help. I don't actually feel like you were trying to help. You saying, oh, by the way, I've recently seen what you're looking for over there, doesn't help me at all because what I said specifically to you was, if you see them, please let me know. Not have you seen them, not right. do you know where right, it was so, the last time. So, because I'm not done talking, okay. uh, what, what she is now saying is, it is not helpful to tell somebody where something they saw very recently was. Now, the absurdity of that is only re overreached by her reaction to getting information like that. To tell me that somehow I'm not helpful because 
what? Because I told her where something was recently, it makes no sense to me. I feel now, like you're setting yourself up to now, take credit. I considered that, that helpful to tell you where something was because, well, I don't know, I would have considered that helpful. <laughs> it's not because I am some kind of like God of knowledge and then me speaking to her should have me grateful. No, it's I would be happy if someone told me where something I was missing was last. But apparently, not only does that not make sense to her, but she flew off the handle and, and barked at me I as did. if I was doing something terrible. Uh, I don't want to call it flying off the Which, handle. Yeah, no, I call it flying off the handle. Now, my reaction to her, the uh, let me guess, in the back room, is sarcasm. That's what happens when I get crapped on for trying to be nice. Now, she thinks it's not trying to be nice to help someone, and she doesn't think it's helpful to uh, to tell somebody so, somewhere or so, where something is that they're missing that they've seen very recently. Okay. Now, none of that's true. I would have never classified that as not helpful if it was if it was other shoe was on the other foot. So she thinks it's not helpful. I thought it was helpful. It has nothing to do with me being arrogant. It has nothing to do with me being smart. It has nothing to do with my intelligence. We're literally capping off her reaction is some kind of like crap cover colored glasses that she's looking at me through as if as if everything i say is from god's throne and it's just not me okay it's not no me i but it's because of this because i feel like it's difficult for me to get help from you so if i say i need help i am already thinking to myself He's not going to be willing to stop what he's doing to help you unless you basically if I throw a really big tantrum if we're if we're leaving and I can't find a pair of shoes and I need there are times when I might cry and then he'll be like, okay, I'll stop and help you. But Aaron does not live to be helpful. He's not like a helper per se. So my By the way, is, I was making her coffee and making the kids <laughs> have breakfast. Okay. okay. So let, let's, you do make Yeah, you do make coffee. You make the roast. I was, no, coffee. I was in the process okay. of doing stuff for her. And the kids when she that's it. That's actually that's probably true. That's probably true. I, I, I remember it. That's exactly what. That's why I'm so frustrated with it. It's like I have now I helped you it. without I moving see. out of the kitchen. I've been able to help you, and you're literally telling me it's not helpful. Know, but I see and barking not, at me. I see you as not being helpful. <laughs> Again, preferences. She prefaced me with with this okay, well, arrogant, non-helpful person, I don't know. and so every word that comes out of my mouth is is like. Blasphemy. Okay, well now I do feel a little bit, a little bit like I, I wasn't, I didn't know he, I didn't know I, you were making me coffee the moment I guess. Why, why else I would I be in the coffee? Uh, why else would I be in the kitchen more than that? <laughs> I guess it's I was in the kitchen the entire time. This you happened. were in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was in the kitchen. But honestly, so really, the whole thing about this that made me mad is that I was upset that I'd lost something and I knew I'd seen it recently. I didn't want to bring up the fact that I'd lost it because Aaron sees me as a person who loses things all the time. <laughs> Which is not accurate. I don't lose things all the time. I don't. And we've downsized, which I did all of the packing and all of the work. So I feel like, gosh, I just don't like it. I just don't like it that you see me as this person who is like a total mess, who can't find things. I didn't say you were a total mess. I just say you lose stuff. And I, I believe you lose stuff all the time. And you don't, you don't just lose your stuff. You lose other people's stuff. But I'm not like a hoarder or anything like that. It, to, no. We have very little space but, and we have very well, few items. And we, we're getting less and less and less. So this whole thing of losing things, I think, is improving. I think I'm improving at losing things. Sure. And not improving at not. <laughs> no, that's not right. I agree. I agree. No. no. So yeah. when I say I've lost something, yeah. I really would like for you to stop and help me find it. But the worst thing you can do is say, oh, I've seen it recently somewhere in this cavern where that's not helpful at all and I, then when I return from the cavern with the item for you to be like see wasn't I helpful like no you weren't helpful if you if you remembered the last time so you saw ridiculous. it no because if you remembered the last place you saw I, something I knew exactly where it was on the floor then I feel like you should have gone right back in to get it I, especially if you're like I, I saw that recently yeah, no I, I I was trying to be helpful uh she immediately crapped on me the moment I, I, I said where I where I saw it last so much so that there's no person in their right mind that's going to want to then stop the already thing that they're doing for the family to go sh to go help her out, but she craps on you the moment you try to help. It's like I don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not like that. I'm that. I'm that guy that if you if you slap my hands while I'm trying to help you, I slap back or I walk away. Okay. I don't just sit there and get abused, and she doesn't get it. Okay. Well, so now, forever and ever, I'm sure, every time we look at those headphones, we're going to be like, oh, remember the time you lost those headphones? No. Which I don't like to associate negativity with an item, 
but I feel like it would have been it would have been nice if when I came out with the headphones if you had just said, oh, I'm glad you found them. Well, instead of, well, you can give me credit for that. I, I just said let me get, I was sarcastic, and I'm sorry, that's that's another way I deal with people. I do think you're funny usually, but uh, I don't know that your sarcasm yeah. always works, but. Yeah, it's, sometimes okay. it's just for me to laugh. All right, okay, so. so that's us. So really in the last month, that was the one thing that we were like, oh, let's talk about no. a couple. Oh, no. No. What that was is she asked me for a recent something an example of the problem I have. Yeah. And that was one I brought up. Now, she wouldn't have even remembered it if I hadn't brought it up right th this today. That actually is true. The, if I saw the headphones, I would have remembered it. Maybe. But sometimes when we get in the car and we're like, oh, let's let's have a couple quarrel because we really do hope that these are helpful. Yeah. We hope that anyone who might look at our videos and go, oh my gosh, they have the perfect yeah. relationship, that you understand that it definitely isn't and we have to work through things. But it can be hard when you're getting along to remember the last thing you fought about. So yeah, so we have to so, actually jog our memory. It's not even the last thing we fought about, but it's it's something that was that's obvious that yeah. came to mind right away. See, the, the problem I have in, in what our actual couple quarrel is really about is there's a there's an issue with her not listening to me, and then uh, it generally is based around the fact that she thinks I'm smart. Uh, in her head, she thinks I'm smart. And so whenever I give a suggestion, there's this, there's this, almost this thing that tur turns on where she feels like I'm, I'm calling her stupid by giving her her suggestion. And so she'll go against what I said and, and she'll just won't listen. And very often when I'm saying something, I've done some mental like work around it. So, you know, I'm often right, not always, but I'm often right. And so it's, beyond upsetting to watch me say something to her like hey I think this is and this and then totally ignores totally ignores totally ignores and then angry that I suggested <laughs> that she's ignoring me when she clearly did I'm not trying to be like a dick I'm literally just helping out my wife in these instances and so there's nothing around there where I like I get off being right I don't, I don't care about that I seek truth it's not the same thing but because Maybe the way I deliver it, maybe the way uh, I've delivered things in the past or whatever, or because I think I'm smarter than the people. Any of those little reasons. I know you think you're smarter than people, and I know I'm people. I, I, I am people. So when, when uh, you love me. Oh, very much so. And I know you love me, and I feel like I get off scot-free. I can, I can behave in a way that you think is foolish, and you'll still love me. But I still know that you look at me like... Oh, she's not an engineer. She would rather I, talk I about shoes than talk way. about there's a lot the of, quantum whatever. There's a lot of engineers that are dumb. So don't, no, but know. what I'm saying is you actually really enjoy learning about things that I would never try and learn about. And I know it irritates you because you wish people were educated. And I am people. But it's okay. So, yes. Yeah, so that's what happened this time. Is there more you wanted to share? So, essentially, she doesn't listen to me because of that. Because of her own selfish issues. With, with, oh, with so feeling, fish. she feels like she's she's being judged whenever I speak. Yeah, I don't like to feel judged. And, and that in turn judges me because what she's doing is she's she's saying that every time I speak, I'm I'm being so uh, arrogant, and I may not be arrogant in a moment, may not even be thinking about like anything in, in a bad way, but I'm suddenly dismissed because of it, and I could be right in being dismissed, which is horribly unsung. Well, so this is how we came up with the yeah. topic for today. Yep. When I asked Aaron, he immediately was like, oh, I remember you treating me like crap recently. So that's our deal. <laughs> we are heading on to the movie now. We are on time, which is quite amazing. We're very thankful that we had some family that was willing to watch the kids because finding a sitter is very hard. Always. So yeah, that's what we're up to. We hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you back here next time. Bye, guys.